So we're now joined by Professor John Stremler, uh, who's the Honorary Professor of International Relations at the University of the Witwatersrand here in Johannesburg. Uh, Prof, uh, welcome to the program. Always good to talk to you. Thank you, Peter. It's been nice to hear you again, and I thought you did a wonderful job in chairing the uh, the Thule um, uh, Memorial Lecture with President and Becky. Ah, thank you very much indeed. So, China and Russia, um, they weren't always friends. I think Stalin probably was the one who started to steer it in the right direction, but before that, they were not easy bedfellows. Fast forward to 2021, um, when we consider the West and the Russians and the Chinese, some might say these might be the two kids who are having the most problems coming together. Well, Peter, um, the, the, the realities are that, that this is an, an agreement. Uh, it's not an alliance. It's an agreement of convenience. Um, the, the G7 foreign ministers met a few days ago and criticized both Russia and uh, China. The pressure has been on them from uh, uh, both of the, uh, the, the countries are facing security issues that are of concern to the West, namely uh, Russia's uh, saber rattling against Ukraine and China's with regard to Taiwan. But it's important to note that this was not a subject that is uh, ostensibly on the agenda, other than the, the, the Russians have said that they're uh, pleased that the Chinese endorsed uh, their demand for security concerns, which uh, so security assurances from the West, namely that Ukraine would not be part of become part of NATO. Uh, but you know these are, are issues that uh, really need to be toned down a bit. I think it's good that they're talking. Uh, this is not a fight that uh, South Africa has a dog in in any way, except that um, China, South Africa is a member of the BRICS and BRICS countries. And because uh, Cyril Ramaphosa chose not, I think wisely, to participate in Biden's democracy summit, uh, he is in a position to be able to talk to both sides and to urge them to avoid a confrontation that either, neither of them could probably control very easily and it could really destabilize the international system. So this is a time for restraint and it's a time for sensible voices to, to, to call for further dialogue. And I think South Africa is well positioned to do that. What does this agreement mean practically though, apart from um, maybe agreeing at the UN Security Council over certain issues, what else can it really do? Well, I, I, uh, I wish I could answer that question for you. The Chinese have released a 2,100-word communique on the meaning of this um, uh, an hour and 14-minute discussion between the two. And remember, Biden had a three-hour discussion with Xi Jinping and, and a 90-minute discussion with, with Vladimir Putin not so long ago. So th th these guys are talking to one another. But in fact, as I looked through the communique from the Chinese government that was issued by the, by the Chinese embassy in Switzerland, uh, of all places, which is very interesting, it was really about economic cooperation, Belt and Road cooperation, uh, infrastructure, uh, all sorts of, of ways, practical ways for, for Russia and China to uh, cooperate with COVID uh, vaccine development and the like not a mention of, of the security issues that are really front and center in both of these uh, countries' agendas right now and on the Western agenda. They did um, say, the Putin said, that, uh, uh, that uh, they, they, they criticized and he, he supports China's criticism of the U.S. Uh, uh, nuclear sub-deal with the Australians, which was seen to be a counterpoint to the Taiwan issue, and, um, and that, that uh, China was supporting his demands, Putin's demands for security guarantees from NATO. But other than that, uh, and it was not away from the Chinese, and, and the Russians haven't, to my knowledge, issued one. So it's, it's really difficult to know um, beyond the, the atmospherics that your preliminary report on this meeting was very good on. I mean, it covered most of the topics, and, and 
you know, the, the Olympics, the Olympic Games are coming up. And so Putin is going to the Olympic Games. Well, Putin's been, been banned, banned from the Olympic Games because of doping convictions of, of Russian athletes. And, and yet there is a loophole that if the head of state invites him, he can attend. And so Xi Jinping has invited him. They're going to attend and see each other together. And they, they uh, want to make look, 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 look like they're, 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 in fact, allies of a sort. But uh, we'll have to see. I mean, neither, neither uh, uh, Russia wants China to invade Taiwan or not. China doesn't want Russia to invade um, uh, Ukraine. And Russia has, has since it's, it, it went into Crimea in, 19, in uh, 2014, China's never, ever condoned that uh, uh, invasion, never. So they talk about not interfering in each other's uh, internal issues. I mean, they do that anyway. Um, it, it's not as if, if something does go terribly wrong inside Russia that China was ever going to do anything about it because I suppose they've got their own issues, Hong Kong, et cetera, and vice versa. Well, they do, they do Peter. Um, they it is a little rich that uh, China talks uh, very much uh, sovereign equality at a time when Africans, in fact, have the principle of non, non indifference. They're very concerned about each other's internal affairs for the sake of regional security and peace. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and the AU supports democracy for its own reasons, not to, be, to please the West or not to please the Americans, but just because this is a complicated continent and it's a diverse continent. And so the, 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 the conversation goes on. But the Chinese, of course, have, have not been shy about interfering in other people's affairs. I, I, I watched that when I was at the Carter Center very clearly, when every time the Dalai Lama came to the Emory University, we could get our computers mm. uh, uh, hacked by the Chinese. Uh, uh, at least that was the, the, what the, the uh, com computer uh, technicians uh, informed us. And with Russia, you know, you've got a 400-page a Mueller report on their interference in the 2016 election that helped elect Donald Trump. So that you know, you know, you got you got to take a grain of salt with what all countries are saying about uh, each other, but. Uh